a three to Marseille. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yanni Economos for those of you who don't know and I make videos on college, life, and anything in between. For this video, I'm going to be reading my Common App personal statement or personal essay that I use to apply to all the colleges that I apply to. Basically, what I'm going to be doing in this video is uh, using my phone to read the actual Common App that I had on my actual Common Application. So I'll be reading my, like I said, my personal statement. And then as I go along, I'll be reading it paragraph by paragraph and I will be posting each paragraph that I'm reading at a time on the screen so you guys can read along with me. And then after each one, I'll probably reflect on what I was really going for in that specific paragraph and what I was trying to convey to the admission committee. Um, just before we begin, some of the main things I wanna say is that the Common App essay is really one of the biggest, in my opinion, important factors that could um, really get you into the school that you're uh, applying to and it could be one of the deciding factors as well I believe that really the admissions committee is using that personal statement to see who you are as a person they want to see um, How original you are they want to see how creative you can be and they want to see how you can take a life experience or an experience that you've had in the past or Recently and how you could convey that to show who you are as an applicant with that. Uh, let's start reading All right, so I have my common app up here on my phone and if we go to the writing section, personal essay, this is from last year, so obviously I haven't used it because I'm in college now. Okay, so the uh, personal essay or common app essay says, the essay demonstrates your ability to write clearly and concisely on a selected topic and help you distinguish yourself in your own voice. Uh, choose the option below that best helps you answer that question and write an essay of no more than 650 words using the prompt to inspire and structure your response. So they give, basically Common App gives a bunch of prompts you could use. So I use the second one, which says the lessons we take from obstacles we encounter can be fundamental to later success. Recount a time when you faced a challenge, setback or failure. How did it affect you and what did you learn from the experience? So basically going into this, I was looking at all the prompts and I actually liked most of them, but none of them really kind of like hit me with a, like a specific experience that I could like talk about. I had very little ones about each and kind of vague ones, I guess you could say. But when I read the second one, I knew like what I wanted to talk about. Um, and I really thought about kind of like the along the lines of what my biggest failure was, I believe, in my life. So going down to where it says, please write the essay in the box below. Um, I have my essay right here and I'm gonna start re uh, reading like I said, but I'm gonna throw up the um, paragraph by paragraph. Okay, so here we go. I remember the cold wind hitting my restless face as I lined up on the track, staring down the hurdles that appeared on the horizon. My hands, hoping to find refuge, fidgeted with the rugged drawstring on my shorts. There were eight of us, eight competitors, eight men leading very different lives, yet connected through one common goal, victory. As we settled into our blocks and cleared our minds, it seemed as though mine couldn't help but drift off. While I fantasized about the thrill of victory, it never occurred to me that everyone else seemed to be in the set position. I realized I was too late to adjust when the gun went off and my reaction was too slow. I was now miles behind all the other runners. I hadn't even passed the finish line when tears started flowing uncontrollably and I realized one thing. The hype did in fact get to me. So that's the first paragraph what you guys saw on the screen and basically what I was showing there was giving some exposition, giving some background, some context of what the story was going to kind of revolve around the specific experience I encountered, which was one of my um, track meets. Uh, this was a top level track meet. It was, I think it was either the city um, finals, city semifinals, something really big where I was um, in one of the fastest heats and I was really just, I guess really just thinking ahead and um, thinking about me winning, crossing the line that I wasn't even actually preparing about the race itself. And um, I think that's what I was really trying to convey here that I was really losing sight of the present and just thinking about the future. So that was one of the big things I was basically showing here to the committee. Um, and then we can start with the second paragraph. When confronted by my coaches, I blamed my performance on the wind and the poor weather conditions, refusing to make eye contact, let alone show all the agony my body had just endured. I couldn't own up to the fact that I thought I was the best one out there and that I, gen I genuinely believed that I was going to win. As days came and went, I couldn't seem to shake off the feeling of defeat. My mind constantly racing back and forth actually began to hurt from all the stress that was building up. I kept thinking about what, what would have happened if I was more focused and aware Yet I never realized that the entire problem had actually nothing to do with the race. 
It wasn't until an old friend of mine helped me see that the only thing that was holding me back was indeed myself. At that moment, I had an epiphany. Okay, so that's the end of the second paragraph. Uh, looking back at it now, I don't know why I ended at that moment I had an epiphany instead of maybe starting that one with the third paragraph. But basically that paragraph was talking about the aftermath of kind of the race, you know, what happened um, because I basically just ran terribly in that race and I I didn't perform the best of my ability. I, I just, I knew that I could have been better and I, I basically knew that when I was going. I knew right that second when I was thinking ahead to the finish line and the gun went off that I, I was gonna lose because I was, they were, when I said they were miles ahead, they obviously weren't, this was like 100 meter hurdles or something, but um, it, they were very far ahead to the point where I couldn't catch them because we had the obstacles in the way. And in, in kind of an ironic sense, I do run hurdles, but it, I use this also to really convey the obstacles that I was going over the hurdles, but also the obstacles that I was encountering, which was myself basically in this race. So that was kind of the big thing I was trying to show there and um, really showing after, um, what was happening and how I became kind of like um, more aware of what did in fact occur. So we can start with the third, I think this is the final paragraph. Yeah, so the third and final paragraph. I understood that the reason I felt trapped as a prisoner in my own mind was due to the fact that I wasn't letting go of my failure. I couldn't accept the agony of defeat because it made me feel as though I lost something more than just a race. Uh, it made me feel as though I had lost a part of me and I think deep down that's what frightened me the most. I kept trying to live in the past, uh, replaying that moment instead of moving on and putting it past me. When that realization set in, I felt a chill run down my spine as goosebumps flowed through the rest of my body. The closure I once sought was now in my grasp when I accepted the loss that I experienced. I finally learned that the challenges we deal with in life are not there to intimidate us into quitting, but rather to inspire us to persevere and move forward. You will never succeed unless you first recognize your failures and learn from them. While I indeed lost the race that day, I learned that by accepting defeat, you move one step closer to becoming successful again. So this last paragraph was really me um, acknowledging and realizing what my mistake was and that it really just came from me losing sight of what was important and that was preparing for the race itself, the race itself, but um, really preparing um, to just run it, not, not to just think about the the end goal to just uh, think about crossing the finish line and going ahead and um, assuming that I was going to win. The realization was that defeat allowed me to really see that um, I could be successful again, but I have to accept it first. So I think the big key thing that I was trying to convey in this whole essay was that um, we all go through defeat. The obstacles um, in our life are there to throw us down sometimes, but the whole point of it is to bounce back. So that's very cliche, of course. I mean, you've probably all heard that everywhere regardless of who said it, but that was the real um, thing I was trying to convey in this essay. I mean, I really wanted to show that um, uh, we're not all perfect. We all get defeated. We all, we all have obstacles that get in our way, but the most important thing is to learn from them, to grow from them, to get back up and to keep pushing forward. So I think that was the biggest thing that that last paragraph was trying to convey. Uh, so overall, the whole essay was, um, Really, yeah, it was just, it was giving an experience that I had with the prompt that I chose, basically talking about the obstacles I faced or the biggest failure I had, and then going through it, talking about the experience, but talking about what I learned from it and how I could use that in my future and uh, showing my growth that I had with it. And I think I did that um, most in the second and third paragraphs. As I said, the first one was more about context, second and third were more about the realization, learning from it and realizing that uh, defeat is allowing us to become one step closer to success. Like I said, the uh, Common App essay, I believe is a critical and crucial part of your application. You know, people tend to disagree with me and I'm sure, you know, you could have your own view on it, of course, but uh, in my opinion, I believe that this really could be a deciding factor. Your application could be polished perfectly. You could have everything that's required from the school. You meet all the criteria, but you know, if your essay is, is basically a lump of garbage, ex excuse the way I say that, but if it's a lump of garbage or it's not really conveying who you are as a person and you're just trying to be something else, something that you're really not, then you know the committee's gonna see that and they're gonna be like, what is what is this person trying to say here? Um, because like I said, the whole point of it is to show who you are to the committee. The, the committee's never met you, right? Um, so when they're reading your common application essay, that's aside from the interview, like I mentioned in my last video, that's really the main thing that they get to see um, uh, who you are as a person, as an applicant. So, you know, you really should try hard on this essay. And um, 
I'm not saying my essay was perfect. Um, it was obviously written from uh, a distinct perspective. Not everyone's going to have that same thing. You know, people don't all play sports and people might have different experiences. But I'm just saying use the experience that you're most comfortable with, the one you most remember, and the one you most care about that's deep to your heart. And just speak um, from yourself when you're writing. Don't, don't try to use big words. Don't try to say um, specific instances that were probably fabricated or didn't totally occur. Just really speak from that experience and talk about what you learned. Um, and I think that is what the committee will uh, see in you as an applicant. All right, everyone, um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, this common application essay uh, helped me get into the schools that were kind of shown in the thumbnail. So University of Michigan at Ann Arbor, Northwestern University, Illinois, Urbana, a bunch of other local schools in Illinois that I applied to and some other ones as well out of state. So um, uh, like I said, this essay isn't perfect. It's simply the one I wrote. It's coming from my heart and it was written with the purpose to show the committee who I am as an applicant. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, uh, feel free to comment down below. Uh, I hope this was helpful in terms of giving you all some type of structure that uh, a personal essay could look like when you're applying to schools. And um, I also hope that it, uh, it gave you more of an informative way of looking at uh, the common application essay if you haven't done it yet. Um, all the prompts are really solid and I'd say you could really, of course you could choose any of them, but choose the one that you really resonate with. Like I said, for me, it was the failure because I really wanted to talk about how I grew from that. Uh, if it's another one, like explain your life story, use that one. If it's even another one, use that one. I think each one can tell a different story as long as you structure it right. And I mean, the whole point of writing these essays are to tell your story to the committee. Uh, they want to learn about you, like I've said and repeated throughout this video. Uh, new videos will be coming out soon. I'm trying to add as many as I can every week. Uh, comment down below if you want to see any new suggestions, specific things, other essays read, or any other tips that you want to get. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Thank you all. And always remember to stay motivated.